Hey y'all, it's Sarah, and I, um, I've got my box in today. It's the Animus um, sample pack. It's a standard lure lock connection, so it can be used with any of the pumps other than um, the Mini Med. The, um, anyway, when you go, if you call Animus, you can um, get uh, a two pack, a sample two pack of um, of the set, whether you want the um, just a straight inset or if you want the inset 30, the one that goes in at an angle. Um, I had originally wanted the straight inset but they sent me the 30 so I called them back and they said oh we'll ship you the right one so long story short I have them. They, are, they only send gray from what, I'm, from what I understand. They only, um, they only ask you the tube length and the cannula length that you need. Um, so anyway got two of them. Um, that comes in the pack. You get your little caps, sight caps, um, for whenever um, you disconnect, if you need to disconnect for a long period of time, or um, if you're going to take a bath, shower, that kind of thing. I always keep them in a little, it's, I think it's a ring holder or something like that, but it's anyway, anyway it's a little Santa Claus that holds your rings and stuff. I have it up on my bathroom counter and that's just for um, my caps. Um, it used to be for my jewelry but now it's, it's for my caps. Um, they send you an instruction book which it, to me it's kind of I don't know I don't do well with reading instructions I always do better with watching instructions so um, so anyway, I'm going to now connect this to my AccuCheck pump, which I have stopped for right now, just for, you know, this purpose. I, I'm disconnected from it. Um, I have never used this one before, so if I flub up, I'll just re-video. Um, when you get it, it has plastic around the side, and so you need to take that off. And it has a little, this little thing on the bottom is just that, okay? Um, I don't know if you can see it. There is a tab right here. You just, and then there's three little things right here. You hold on to those and just kind of crack it open, kind of like an egg. And then, um... I keep going out of focus. Then you just get the um, the connector. Sorry, I keep forgetting you can't see what I'm doing. Um, it, it's like that when you open it. And see, there's the the cannula and the cap and the lure lock thing, and that's what it looks like from that way. And you just kind of snap that off. Pull all your stuff out like that. Do it kind of slow and kind of easy. Kind of let it fall out the way that it needs to fall out so that um, you don't pull the sight thing out. Um, and then you just take this part, pull it off, and there is the needle. It has, the needle has the, um, of course, it has the cannula on the outside, so whenever this needle goes inside of you, the, um, and then you pull this off, the cannula stays inside and the needle comes out. And, let's see. This is the part, that's the lure lock. This is the part that I'm going to connect to this. See, I still have like a half a cartridge in there. My cartridge holds 315 units, so I have to change out the site every three days, and today's my third day. So, all you do is just put it on there and twist for the AccuCheck. Now, I know different, different ones have different things. Um, so, anyway, I'm going to go into my pump and tell it to 
prime. It's automatically set for 25 units. I don't know how many units it's going to take to fill this cannula. Um, I know with my other ones it only takes 12 units, so um, I'm just going to let it go and then I can stop it when I need to. Alright, now, as you can see, it is primed. So I'm going to stop it. And, alright, there is a little cock button back there. And all you do is you hold on to the ridges that's on this side and pull it back until it snaps. It, when it snaps, it kind of twists and snaps. Um, and there is a little notch on that side and you just put, you know what I didn't do? I didn't, I just squeezed it so it would trigger. I didn't pull this off. It is just a little thing you just pull and pull and pull and pull until it snakes itself off. Like that. Okay, now we can cock it. Um, and do the little thingy. And it's cocked. It is ready to go. Sorry if I'm looking like I'm looking to the side. My monitor's on the side, so I'm watching what I'm doing on this so that I'm telling you right. All right, this is ready, so I'm just gonna set it down. And I'm gonna get the sight ready. With my IV prep. And, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to go, well, right here. As you can see, this was my old site, so I'm just going to go up a little bit. Yeah, it's right on the top of my butt. Now, have it, and you just place it. I'm placing it with the tubing going up. You just place it, and sorry, you place it and squeeze. Push it down a little bit and pull this off and it pulls the needle out and this part is in and I did not feel a thing that's awesome anyway now I'm connected all the way and I'm going to um, I'm just going to go in and do just a standard bolus so with the AccuCheck, all you do is you go into your menu. First menu is a standard bolus, and you say OK. And I want to go up to half unit and tell it OK. And it's going to put the, it's going to fill the cannula that was left in there because you have to prime the cannula as well. Um, so anyway, and then all you do with this is just snap it back together and it's your little sharps container thing put it and just put it wherever you put your sharps to dispose of them so anyway that's it that's how you change the um or that's how you, yeah you change the set for the animus inset um hopefully i will be able to do a truly 100 percent animus inset change um probably not next week but the next um after i get the animus ping and i get set up and all that stuff. So anyway, y'all have a good day.